Well, how do there, people in the Viewerverse? Tis I, Count Another Steves, and today, chums, for you guys out there in the Viewerverse, I'm going to go over when I feel the next update may drop for No Man's Sky going from patterns, and I'm also going to deliver in a little bit of news around the No Man's Sky verse. So let's get into it, shall we, people in the Viewerverse? So, as you know, people, um, we're currently running some expeditions, aren't we? So these expeditions over here on the um, screen that you can see now, um, the current one is a Leviathan that we're on. And it's like the permadeath one. It ends on the 5th of January, so it's not too far away from ending. It's the 30th of the 12th right now, but I'm probably going to be putting this live on the 31st. And yeah, and we can see here the next one starts on the 5th of Jan through to the 18th of January. Now, I don't think anything is going to be happening inside of game or not too much anyway. Now, after the Leviathan update though, at the moment inside of game, if I just jump over inside of game, we have got at the moment over at the Johnny Five Quicksilver store, nothing to unlock with Johnny Five because that actual progress bar is being taken up by the current expedition. So there's nothing new to unlock here, but there will be, there will be something new appearing after this progress bar is completely maxed out and after the actual expedition has ended. So what is that thing? Well, if we go into the No Man's Sky Assistant app, I can show you what the next thing is because it shows you inside of the No Man's Sky Assistant app. So here's the actual icon for the No Man's Sky Assistant app, which I'm trying to hit now. Everything's in reverse. There we go. Chicka boom. Now if I click on Community Mission, which is just down here on the app. There it is. Bottom row. Bosh. There. Community mission, and if I hit next item, oh, 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 boom, there we go. It's the Cosmic Megafauna Cape. Can I make this bigger? It's that one. We're going to be unlocking that one soon. That's going to be coming into the Quicksilver store as soon as this expedition ends. Now, I do know, though, that, you know, the old Switch players... Bless them. At the moment, it's it's very difficult for them to get Quicksilver. I have got a video on how you can get Quicksilver if you're on Nintendo Switch. I'll put it in the top right-hand corner. But even if you can get that cape, I've heard that you can't actually equip it. It doesn't appear in the um, appearance modifier. So I don't even know whether you can purchase it, to be honest. So I'm really hoping that they do sort out some of this stuff for the old place, for, for the older Nintendo Switch. I really do. Anyhow, jumping back on over to uh, the actual PC and looking at some of the news that we've had in the past. So this this sort of um, this article here is very good at listing all the updates, when they dropped, and what they brought into the No Man's Sky verse. So if we have a look at patterns inside of No Man's Sky's release history. So if I type in Jan, if I start typing in January, you're going to see there nothing comes back. Now, if I type in February, where are you, where are you? There we go. We had the living ship update back in 2020, which brought in living ships inside of Februarance. Yeah, so that's pretty darn cool. And I believe it was at 1523. I don't know. If, I don't know whether that's dates or what. You know, it's, it's weird reading sort of Americanized dates, isn't it? But it can't be. Can't be. Can't be. There's not 15 months in a blinking thing, is there? But yeah, there we go. So we had living ship in February, but it says one of three. So what else did we have in a February? Well, February 2021, so that's 2020, 2021. In 2021, we had companions, which brought us pets. Heck yes. Pretty darn freaking awesome. Heck yes. And then there's one more. In 2022, in February, we had the Sentinel update. Now, all three of these updates by no stretch of the imagination, have been small updates. They have been fairly large when it comes to delivering in new things to do. Yeah, so the pets was pretty darn freaking epic, finding pets and actually having them as little companions. And also the sentinels. The first time shutting down a sentinel pillar was great. Freaking heck yes. And it brought in new sentinel types. So what was the first one again? It was Living Ship, wasn't it? So yes, all three of them have been pretty darn gnarly in size of scope and what they actually brought into the verse. And they've been fairly exciting updates. So I'm hoping in February we might get a similar sort of update in 2023. Yeah, sound off in the comments. Let us know if you think that that's a decent pattern to go by. Now, what I would say, though, people in the viewer verse is there's also the PlayStation VR 2 update dropping in February alongside the hardware. Now, 
we did get quite excited for Waypoint when it was coming over to Switch. There was a lot of the community that thought maybe they might be doing something that like they did with Xbox. When it came to Xbox, they dropped Next and Beyond pretty much simultaneously. I mean, Beyond came out right after Next, and that brought VR to PlayStation 1. So you would think that well, they've already got it ready for PlayStation VR because they're quite used to it from yesteryear, you know, when they brought it out in Beyond. So, I don't know... I'm kind of hoping that we are going to get some sort of content update in February, maybe alongside another expedition, in the similar sort of vein that we have for the last three years going by patterns. For them to break a pattern and trend, it doesn't really go outside of their remit. But then saying that, Waypoint was 4.0, and every single large update prior, update 1, well, update 2, update 3, have all been large. Even the 0.5s have been fairly large. Waypoint broke that mould. Waypoint really went off the rails, and it was very unexpected. I don't think anybody could have predicted that Waypoint would have been the update that it was. But sadly, that's the way it was, and it wasn't actually let out by Sean Murray until pretty much the final couple of weeks beforehand to say, no, this is just a Switch update. Don't expect anything large. It's not like previous 3.0 or 3.5 or 2 or 2.5 or 1.5. So, yeah, they... I'm, I'm really not expecting too much in February because of the letdown of Waypoint in a roundabout way. I say a letdown. It was still a decent update. It still gave us the boosted slots. It did do a bit of rebalancing. It did do a fair bit when it comes to setting up your own custom game modes. So, but it wasn't anything like the likes of Origins or Beyond or Next or any of the other larger updates that we've had in previous years so yeah i'm trying to keep my expectations into check i don't want to set sort of speculation as expectation i for people in the view of us so yes read into this what you will but i don't think we're going to be seeing anything until february and i'm really hoping fingers freaking crossed that we get another expedition that nobody's run before although the redux is a great it's a great way to see in the holiday period and to see in the new year so thank you very much hello games for giving us something to do over this festive break and anybody picking up no Man's Sky is a Christmas present. At least they've got the expeditions to look at as an alternative way of jumping into No Man's Sky. So yeah, it's it's been a good year, 2022. I'm hoping 2023 is better, to be honest. Uh, my favourite year so far has been the one where Origins dropped. Origins was freaking awesome. And uh, yeah, it brought in a little bit of variety, but it also brought in things to do and things to see, which it, for me is the perfect sort of update, to be fair. Anyhow, so that's um, that's everything that I've got for you. Uh, yeah, Origins dropped in the September of 2020. Just taking a quick look, see on the old freaking page here. But yeah, so there we go, people. That's everything I've got for you. Um, so there will be a new Quicksilver item as soon as Leviathan ends. Hopefully that sort of new sort of cape is going to appear inside the Quicksilver store. Sadly, that might not be good news for Switch players, but it is for the rest of the community. And I am hoping that Hello Games looks at these capes because even on other platforms, even on the highest end of PC, you're not seeing those capes. Those capes in multiplayer, you can't show them off. So what's the point in having a cosmetic that you can't cosmetically show off to other players doesn't make much sense at the moment so hopefully they look at doing a little bit of polish a little bit of bug fixing and hopefully those capes are going to appear i say bug fixing it could be a feature it could be that way by design maybe these cloth physics are too much for the actual consoles and the pcs to bear who freaking knows but it does sort of surprise me when you've got the likes of you know uh, unreal engine Five busting out all these freaking awesome games that have got quite a lot of cloth physics in them and they don't seem to have any issue but there we go people that's everything i've got for you i'm going to be sounding off now because we're going off on some pretty odd little tangents i guess we are but yeah awesome happy new year people in the view of us happy new year and it's 2023 and that's what i think to that's where i'm setting my sort of targets for 2023 on where we're going to be getting a new update i'm going to say it's going to be before the playstation vr 2 drops perhaps just to get a few more people on board and maybe looking to pick up no man's sky or it could drop alongside the psvr 2 update it would be awesome if they did a psvr 2 no man's sky bundle i mean how awesome would that be to have some branded vr kit with no man's sky type shenanigans on it that would be quite nice if you're wondering what all those sort of like bzz, 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 noises are that's my little robot in the background eyelick yeah, he's an awesome little chappy here, this is Eilik. Yeah, if you want to get your own, I'll put a video in the top right-hand corner so you can find out more about Eilik. But until next time, people, you've been awesome. I've been Captain Steve. Happy New Year, and I'm looking forward to 2023. Cheery bye, people in the view of us.